Double K Consulting presents 80 meter aluminum MET tower installation manufactured and installed by Double K Consulting. Select a base plate location. When doing this, one will need to consider the surrounding terrain. In the case that there are slopes or inclined planes, one must make sure that the tower is laid out and placed uphill while it is being constructed on the ground. After having doing so, pinpoint the anchor location, both the permanent and temporary anchors. Refer to the diagram for 60, 80, or 100 meter tower to determine exact placement and distances. The type of anchors that are applied will depend on soil conditions. The most common anchors used for double K towers are screw-in and buried anchors. In cases where buried anchors are placed, two meter crevices must be excavated. Hinges may be attached to the base plate of the tower before it is placed into final position. Lightning wire is stretched from the base of the tower to the very top. Beginning with the topmost segment, lightning wire is inserted into one of the outer tubes of each segment as the tower is loosely laid out. Once the lowest segment of the tower is attached to the base, all segments can be put together and secured with steel nuts and bolts. The top segment is being finished with a lightning rod which is connected to the lightning wire. At this point of the construction, both gin poles are attached to the base plate then assembled. The base is secured to the ground with four 1.5 meter steel pins. Four millimeter guy wires are measured and connected to permanent and temporary anchors along with the gin pole and the tower. This can be seen in the provided diagram. The winch is set up, anchored and properly wired with a main gin pole. The data logger is then mounted onto the tower along with the solar panel, the temperature, humidity and pressure sensors. <music> Instrument booms are attached at desired heights to mount required instruments. The cables are aligned so that they run along one of the outer tubes in order to be connected to the pre-configured and earlier tested logger. The first gin pull is now ready to be lifted. Thanks to its light weight, it can easily be done by hand. With the help of a winch or a 4x4 vehicle, the second gin pole will be tilted up. This leads us to one of the final steps, the tower tilt-up. By now, the first gin pole is on the ground and disassembled. The tower is lifted off the ground slowly. 
The wires connecting the gin pole and the top side of the tower are checked for tension. If everything seems in order, then the tower is ready to be tilted upwards. It is highly recommended that the wire tension on the temporary anchors and overall visual alignment is being checked constantly. If there are any side wires that seem to be too close or too tense, or if there is an excessive turning, twisting, or bending of the tower, it is important that you halt the lifting and make appropriate adjustment. Once the tower is up, the level is ready to be checked. Finally, all wires are reconnected to the permanent position. The level should be checked once more. If everything seems to be in order, then you are on your way in starting a successful wind resource assessment campaign.